Well, my name is Sherry Coleman, I'm Reverend, Chaplain, uh, Board Certified, ACPE. I'm a Christ follower, lover of people and God, family, friends, strangers. and called to really embody the gospel out in the world with people who are hurting and suffering. A chaplain is somebody who meets a person or a family generally in crisis in the hospital at the bedside and really becomes the incarnation in that moment to say, God's here, you're not alone. On August 25th, 2021, the Free Methodist Chaplains Association awarded Reverend Sherry Coleman with the Distinguished Service Medallion for her exceptional service and ministry since 2005. So there is an association called the Free Methodist Chaplain Association, and there's over 140 chaplains from across the country. So we come together every year for the Free Methodist Chaplain Association Professional Development Training. And during that time, um, we get to be with people who know what we do every day. And so there's not a lot of, you know, what do you do? And the second night we're together, we have this big celebration. And that's when they present um, these awards. And because we haven't met for the last two years, there were four of us that got awards. Um, some of the older chaplains probably, I think it actually started in the late 80s, wanted to capture some of the history of the Free, Meth Free Methodist Chaplains, um, which is a national FM um, community. But it was meant to, to honor and capture um, just respect and gratitude for people who um, we don't typically get Pastors Appreciation Month, um, and typically during Spiritual Care Week, that's typically for chaplains, we are out there servicing or serving our community more than them coming and saying, hey, thanks so much. So I think it's one way to just stop and um, as, for us as a community to recognize the work that we do. Originally, these were men and most of them were serving in the military. And so they came up with this idea, this Distinguished Service Award. And um, um, I'm the first woman to receive it, so that's kind of cool. Um, I don't often talk about being an ordained woman, but weekly in the VA, I'll walk in to see somebody and introduce myself as a chaplain. They're like, we have women chaplains? Yeah, we do, or, or they let you be a chaplain, or things like that, so it's kind of funny. A lot of the staff, especially the women, are like, that's so cool! Um, so it just really runs the gamut between people who are like shocked and people who are like, yeah, I have a woman pastor, so it's, you know, every day different. In 2014, Sherry was hired as a chaplain and clinical pastoral education educator at Loma Linda Veterans Affairs Hospital. Working with the veterans is really a treasure. It's not easy. Um, my first six months there, I was just doing patient care because we didn't have a program yet and I was trying to get the program ready. And I was hearing stories um, from Vietnam mostly, six, seven, eight, ten a day of men who I, I'd rock, walk in the room, maybe I'd follow the respiratory therapist and all things were great, and then I'd say I'm the chaplain and they would begin to weep and tell me their stories. Um, and so I actually ended up with secondary PTSD. And I, I wasn't sure I was going to be able to stay at the VA. It was a really hard time. And so I learned a lot in that season of really, really trusting Jesus minute by minute. I wasn't so happy with him in the first place. I remember talking to my pastor, Fraser, and saying, I don't even know, it's so dark. I, I don't even know anymore. 
Um, but little by little, using lots of the self-care and coping, positive, healthy coping skills I had learned over the, the years about exercising, seeing a therapist, um, seeing a spiritual director, going slow, breathing. I was able to come out of that to a place where I could stay. It is amazing and very holy and sacred to work with veterans. The event is more than just a celebration. It's an opportunity to learn, to connect, to rest. Just to be together and to talk and to hear, um, I got to hear people who are stationed with our service members and ministering to them and their families and people who are in hospice, um, people who are in the prisons, people who are out on the streets, um, working with people who don't have homes and don't have um, typically the support that most of us have, the privilege that most of us have, um, to have a roof over our heads and, and food on the table. Um, my husband Dan, we've been married for 38 years and I couldn't have gone back to school. I couldn't have finished my Masters of Divinity. I couldn't have done hardly anything um, with five kids without his full support. So my family is my first, my first love, my first uh, mission field, and they're, they're great and supportive. I think I have five people who I've worked with through the ordination process who are either now chaplains and board certified or chaplains in a residency program or newly hired at a hospital. And then there's the one who's going through supervisory training. Um, one of the women who is a chaplain who was in our area, our conference. Just being able to look behind and see the chaplains coming behind me who are kids, but they're not um, having their own kids and seeing that, that legacy and that consistency is really just, it's lovely. It's exciting. I'm very grateful for that. To find out more about ministry within the Free Methodist Church, visit us online at fmcsc.org. Thank you.